All right, so what we have here today is the, uh, it's an original Xbox. It's the uh, Samsung SDG605 uh, disk drive, which, for those of you that don't know, is one of the good ones. Uh, if you have a modded Xbox, it's one of the drives that can actually rip games to the console and also read burned games. So here we have it out of the Xbox. If you don't know how to take it out of the Xbox, you simply just flip it over, remove the four feet, you know, the you know one in each corner uh, also underneath the stickers towards the middle both top and bottom there's going to be another screw so six screws in total and then once you uh, have the top of the drive off there's actually up here by the front of the Xbox there's going to be two screws um, so they're going to be Torx bits I'm not sure on the size 100% uh, there and my screwdriver doesn't say what size this is I think it's a five but got this with my, uh, I believe this came with my E3 flasher, if I'm not mistaken. Came with something for the PlayStation 3. Um, so yeah, here's the drive. Once you have those screws taken off, you just unplug the 40-pin uh, uh, IDE cable from the back and the power. And then, yeah, take it out of your Xbox. It's going to actually clips in on both sides in the back. So you're going to have to kind of put your hand in there and pull over on the uh, little holder for it, and it'll pop out. Alright, so we have four screws on the bottom here to take out. Now I believe on one of the models... Uh, and again, I can't tell you what off the top of my head. I want to say it's the Phillips drive. Um, may have two screws back here. So. All right. So here's what we're looking at. Now I can already tell why this is bad. <laughs> right, right now. Sing is disgusting. Where's my alcohol at? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to clean it. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say don't use a Q-tip. Uh, I've been using Q-tips on consoles since I was a kid, so uh, I've never ruined a laser that way. Obviously, we're not going to saturate it. We're just going to clean it off, so get a Q-tip. And then, uh, oops, way too much. I'm going to start on the other end here. And then just kind of pull it out a little bit. Pull the cotton off the top. So I'm going to grab a different one, and we'll use that as a second one there. So alcohol, make sure it is at least 90%. The lower the percentage you get, the more water content. Um, everybody should know that water and electronics do not go hand in hand. So. That's just from one wipe. Let me see if I can see that in the camera. Yeah, that's just from one wipe around it. So. Alrighty, yeah, there's a lot of dust in this one. A lot of dust. So, now as for, let's take the bottom of this off. Okay, 
Had a little trouble with the motherboard trying to stick there because of the uh, thermal pad on the bottom. So um, it was trying to stick. As you can see, it's coming up. I didn't want to have to disconnect everything. So. All right. So if we look on the bottom here, there are going to be two different pots. If you don't know what a pot is, uh, on each laser it'll be a little bit different. I actually like these a little better because um, they don't have the epoxy on them, which is a pain in the ass to get off. So. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if uh, the cleaning fixed it or not, but anytime you have a laser that dirty, you know it's been struggling to read for some time, so more than likely it's going to need a quick tweak. Can you guys see that meter at all? No. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so. We're going to go ahead and test here, and don't worry about moving the driver on like this. The laser is not sitting flush, so uh, yeah, we actually have a little bit of uh, room to work here. So in order to test this, I'm actually going to turn it around. We're looking for the two points on each side here, so these... Okay, I don't know if you, how well you guys can see it in the video. Let's see if I can get it a little closer here. There's the one. There's the other. Trying to pull it a little bit so I can get a little more room here. All right. But now you guys can't see the meter. Damn it. I think you guys can kind of see that. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. Zero point seven. Wow, that one's already really low, man. <laughs> Make sure I got a good reading on that. My ground prong is a little screwed up, man. That is low. Can you guys see that? That two point zero eight. Now generally factory set, you don't want to go below three, but seeing as this drive, it doesn't read anyways. Um, when I got it, it didn't read. The person that I'm selling to is expecting it not to read, um, but hopefully I can get it working because uh, it's actually going to be modded and then traded off. So. Get some good light here. that I'm gonna put it up just a hair so you never want to go down that far you only want to go down like 0.1 to 0.2 increments you don't want to go like we were at 2.08 uh, we could go a hair lower so right now that's back at 1.984 because you don't want to really go down all that low um, the farther, the faster you go. Oh, that's still too freaking low. See what I'm talking about? I mean, just the slightest move. And that thing is turning. And that thing's going up. Still at 1.7. Um, if you jump down too low, too quick, 
you guys know what I mean, you know, like the bigger the number you're jumping, the higher chance you're going to fry your laser. It's got to be a gradual adjustment there. Oh, come on. I hate this ground prong of mine, it sucks. one point nine four alright I wanna get it at about one point nine even it's because like I said we're already below the factory three that we wanna be at one point eight six I'll take it alrighty so that is a pot tweet guys that is how you do it how do you go back in Um, what is your deal? Does it slide in under that side? It's been a long time since I've taken apart a Samsung drive, so... There it goes. Um, that's basically it. So now what you want to do, we're going to turn the meter off. Oops, we don't run the battery down. And, um... Yeah. Test it. If it don't work, take it back apart. Turn it down a little more. And if it doesn't work after a few tries, then you know that you have a bad laser. Uh, when I actually go to put this back together, it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to throw this little disc holder on top. It'll magnetize to that. And... Um, See if it lights up or not. If it doesn't light up, then I'm just going to say screw it. And uh, like I said, I already told the guy the disk drive doesn't work. He wants it for retro games, so whatever. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be, the uh, again, the Samsung SDG605 Pot Tweak. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope that you can get your Xbox back running with this video. Um, it is a higher success rate on Xbox 360, so if you've got a 360 that's doing the same thing, give it a shot on that as well. I do have a video over that. Um, so, ending the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, enjoy.